Good work, everyone. Good work tonight. We still got a lot to do this week, so get home safe and get a good night's sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. What's up? Not much. Just got home from work. What about you? Oh, rehearsal was so long today. I can't wait to get out of here. Mm, yeah. It was a long day for me, too. So? How is the date? Dave. Yo, man, what up? Just closing up. What you doing? I'm in the theater now. Uh, I should be starting soon. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot you was watching that tonight. Want me to call you back? No, it's cool. There's literally no one else here. <laughs> oh, shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's got some really bad reviews. What's going on? Well, you know I had that date last night. Oh, shit, right. Um... Uh, the chick from the shop. Yeah, Becky. Becky, right. How'd it go? Well, it started off nice. We went to Rosalino's. Oh, hey, that's a nice place. I took my mom there when she was here last summer. Oh, man, good choice. It's expensive. Big points. Yeah, no, it was a really nice place. Good food. Good conversation. He's actually pretty funny. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. But then... Oh no, what happened? Well, we finished up. I paid the bill. Gentlemen. Obviously. We leave the restaurant and head to the car. To go where? Back to his place. Oh my god, yes. You dog, nice. Anyway, we in the car, and then there's this big giant... Disgusting... Blob... Of bird shit. Right on the windshield. Uh Gross. Yeah, not sexy. Did you use the wipers? Nah, my wipers suck. It would just spread like butter on toast. I'm gonna barf. So we pulled into the street, and I'm pretending like it's not even there. Trying to. Right, but get this. I offered to clean it for him. You what? She what? I offered to clean it. I mean, why not? It's just some bird shit. It's not a big deal. She's like, pull it to the gas station. I use the squeegee. Whoa, she's a keeper. You're a keeper. Right? That's what I thought. So he's like, well, I actually do need gas. Okay. And so then we pull into the gas station. And I'm thinking, that's a pretty sweet offer, but I can't really let her do it. Why not? I don't know. It just didn't seem right. But she offered. I know. But I was thinking, she was thinking that it was just going to be an easy job. Like it was just gonna come right off with a few squeegees. Like maybe she thought it was gonna be fun. No, that job's not fun. Bird should take some work. Right? That's what I was thinking. So he pulls over the gas pump, takes the keys out of the ignition, turns to me and says, why don't you let me do it? I don't think it's gonna be as fun as you think it is. Oof. Yeah. Oh. So I was like, what do you mean? And I said, it's not going to be a fun job. Yeah, no shit. Right? So what'd you say? I said, I know. And then I got out of the car. So pissed. Was she pissed? Yeah, she was pissed as hell. I would have been pissed too. So I went and grabbed the squeegee and started cleaning the windshield. What'd you do? I started filling up the tank. And she kept cleaning? Yeah, she was scrubbing hard. Was it hard? Yeah, it was hard. I mean, it was nasty. But you knew it was gonna be hard, right? Of course, I mean, I've cleaned a windshield before. But it came off though, right? Yeah, it looked great. Nice. So I put the squeegee away, he finishes filling up the gas, we both get back into the car, and he says, thank you. You did a really good job. Well, that was nice. But she was still pissed. She goes, thank you, but I wanna go home now. You don't wanna come over anymore? No. Okay, fine. Okay, fine? Okay, fine? Yeah, 
So I drove home. In utter silence. Ouch. Yikes. Yup. So, are you gonna call her again? No. Why not? Because he's an asshole. Because she's insane. I mean, what was he thinking? That like, I thought it would be like a walk in the park. He wasn't thinking. Exactly. He was assuming, he was assuming I wouldn't be able to do it or I would like realize it's hard and give up. I was trying to be nice and she took it the wrong way. She ruined the whole date. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Why did you tell her that about it not being fun? Because I really thought that she thought that it was gonna be a fun and cute job. I thought that it would be a harder job than she was planning on. And I was just trying to- Save her? Yes. Is she the kind of person who you think needs to be saved? Well, no. Does she strike you as someone who can't do hard things? No, not at all. She's actually pretty tough. That's what I like about her. Why do you think he said that about it not being fun? Because he assumed I'm some like basic bitch who's afraid to get her hands dirty or that like I'm afraid to break a nail. It was so condescending and mansplaining. Mansplaining? Yeah. He assumed I didn't know what was involved, so he literally explained it to me. I mean, yeah, maybe, but also maybe he was just trying to save you from a hard job. I don't need saving. Of course not. But he doesn't know you've cleaned bird shit before. Well, no, not necessarily. And we know he's a gentleman, right? Right. That's what I like about him. So maybe telling her that made her feel like you don't take her seriously. Maybe you should tell him you felt insulted. Maybe you should tell her what you were thinking and what you meant. You think so? I think so. And he'd take it well, right? Yeah. Okay, then go give him a call. So call her. Oh, it's starting soon. Gotta go. Okay, man. Hey. Thanks. Enjoy. <laughs> we'll see. Later. <laughs> hey there. I was just about to call you. You were? Yeah. Hey, listen. Can we talk about the bird shit? <laughs>